74 Porsche 914 Can-Am LE. It's a fun little car. 70 miles an hour out of the turn there. Um, so these uh, 914 Can-Ams, they built a thousand of them. 500 were in a different uh, color combo. This one is the Bumblebee uh, color combo. They called it black with the yellow script and whatnot. This one's loaded with options. The rear white, rear uh, the froster. Um, other than that, I think everything came standard. This is a, I guess a club special type level car. You know, you look at it from 10 feet, it's quite uh, quite nice. Uh, if you look at it under really close observation, there's little signs of uh, wear and tear through the car on the dash here. There's a crack on my driver's seat. There's a little tiny nick. Uh, the paint quality, the sheen is great. The polish is great, but there's fish eyes throughout the paint uh, on the car. So that would probably be, be one of the biggest hindrances. Uh, we did a full inspection on it, compression test and whatnot. Compression is, is, is amazingly good. We'll post those uh, compression numbers just so you can see. But uh, it is a replacement Volkswagen motor that is uh, bored out to two liter specs and has uh, the Porsche pistons. Um, we'll get into all the details in our description with exact, exactly what the mechanicals are. I know it has Bilstein suspension, um, but the car is fairly correct has the correct wheels and tires and uh, interior. Um, we're driving down the highway now. I'll just check the lights, see if they work. Yes, they work. Turn signal works. Manual wind down windows are working perfectly. dog leg shifter, something to get used to for sure. Um, if you're looking for just a fun driver Porsche to take to Porsche events or just have you know, an inexpensive toy in the garage that, uh, that looks great but doesn't cost a lot of money, this is a great candidate. I think uh, any Porsche that you're going to buy nowadays, doesn't matter what it is, is costing you forty or 50000 and above especially in a vintage car. Um, I think this one is uh, gonna represent great value for somebody. Uh, there's certainly little things that you can toy with to make the car better uh, if you're that type of person, but if you wanna just get in and go, we've made sure that mechanically it's uh, a strong car. Safety-wise, everything's working the way it should. Um, but little things like the dash cracks and stuff, we didn't, uh, we didn't start spending money on fixing. Um, the target top's in good shape. Uh, nothing to fix there uh, and all in all you know the cars bright work and uh, you know fit and finish is quite good so if you're buying it uh, we are shipping this car to our bling Washington facility it'll uh, be on a US title um, this car was previously registered in California I see no reason why you can't register it there again um, as always we say if you're going to register the car in any state, know your state laws before making the assumption uh, it can be registered because every state has their different reasons. But being a 25 year older older car and uh, and already being registered in the United States, I don't see any reason why it can't again. Um, we will supply you a U.S. title. Oh, missed a shift. Oops.
reach out if you have any questions or concerns. If you're looking for the most perfect one in the world, this one is not for you. If you're looking for one that is a nice looking car, good driver, uh, good honest car, non-numbers matching motor, um, something that is somewhat inexpensive but fun to have around, this is a great candidate. So enjoy. We have the Porsche COA showing it is an original uh, Can-Am special edition Bumblebee. Uh, that will be in the auction. If you have any questions, reach out to us and we'll answer as quickly as we can. We'll help you with shipping uh, and titling the car for you once you are the owner. Thank you very much.